Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Savvylicious Arrangements. So, as you see right now, I am filling my cake with vanilla buttercream. And I'm taking my top layer and I am going to place that upside down so I can get um, some pretty decent sharp edges. You know, this is cakes for beginners. I'm just using my leveler. To make sure that my cake is leveled, I'm going to eye level it also. Just to make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. It's not leaning, it's not tilting, um, it's not pushed back. So here I have um, a bag of icing. And in my last video, remember I told you this was the easiest way for me to go ahead and apply icing so that my cake doesn't lean. Because when I just take my spatula... Um, and I dip it or I put it into the bowl and then apply the ice in that way like you see people do in other videos. Um, my cake don't come out right. Okay. It comes out leaning a little bit. And I just don't, I just don't like that because I'm trying to be better with doing cakes. I really don't care to do cakes, but people ask me to do it and money is where the cakes are. Cakes are where the money is, or that's how you should say it. So I'm trying to get better and better. In each cake I do, I get better. But sometimes you still have those, you know, those days where you'd be like, oh my goodness, why did I take this cake order? So uh, this necessarily wasn't that kind of cake. I did have some difficulty with this cake and that's with the icing uh, because this was a last minute cake order. You know, I, I like to be honest with you guys, my YouTube subscribers, I like to be honest with you because this is why you guys watch me. But this was a last minute cake order and I shouldn't have took it, but the money was good. And I was just like, all right, come on. You know, like you got to mentally prepare yourself to do a cake. Cupcakes. All right. I can knock those out in like 30 minutes, but doing a cake, that's a, that's a whole process. So Normally, I would make my own icing for my cakes uh, just because my icing is stiff and it's, it firms up really well uh, when it comes to cakes. So, I wound up buying icing and coloring it myself. This is what I did right here. This is the blue icing that you see. Now, when I tell you that this icing just, it just wasn't what I really, it wasn't mine okay it wasn't mine the ice in here is super shiny you can see that from the from the video the ice in is super shiny um and it wasn't stiff enough for me it wasn't stiff uh i added some powder sugar while i was dying the um the icing i did add powder sugar but it still gives me this glossy shine so i'm just taking my um mini spatula and i'm just going ahead and rounding out or smoothing out my buttercream um i'm still a cake beginner so my cakes that you see on my my page and my channel and everything are for people that have just started out with doing cakes and I'm just trying to show you guys different techniques. So you see how shiny my icing is? It's smooth, but you see how shiny my icing is. And I just didn't like it. So I popped it in the freezer for a little bit. And um, I'm, I took it out. And this is my second coat for icing. Um, I think I did about three coats of icing on this cake. Because I just wanted to make sure that it was, that it was okay. So my plan was to have the icing meet the um, the cake board. Like the icing was going to be like the same level as the cake board. But it didn't turn out that way. It, I would have to use so much icing for that to happen. Um, and I didn't want to use, um, this was a 10 inch cake. This was, I'm sorry, this was a 10 inch cake board. My cake was an eight inch. Now that two inch difference don't seem like it's a lot until you put that cake on that cake board and you start to ice it. So I was like, okay, two inches of icing, that shouldn't really be too bad, right? 
But then when I was starting to go in with the icing, I was just like, I would have to have this much icing in order for it to meet the border. And I was just like, that's way too much icing for these little kids. Okay. So I was just like, all right, well, we're just going to thug it out. We're just going to keep it right here. And I'm just going to keep taking my spatula and I'm going to smooth this cake out. Okay. So it was one point where I got really frustrated. Um, I don't think I had the camera of recording at that time. I should have because I was like a little upset. So, uh, I'm just taking my bench scraper and I am just going to smooth this icing out the best that I can. Um, and I'm just going to take my mini spatula and I am going to, um, scrape up the edges. Uh, so that way it's one level. Okay. So here I popped it back in the freezer and now I just took my bench scraper again just to smooth out the edges. Um, I took some warm water and ran it or hot water and ran it um, on my bench scraper so that I can get those that smooth uh, that smooth look that you that the people do whatever you want to call it. I just took some hot water and I used it on my bench scraper and smoothed it out with you know the icing so now I'm just cleaning up my edges and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating my cake so here I got this cake topper from Amazon I believe it was like six dollars and it came the next day um, Amazon is my first choice to go to whenever I need something um, only because they have pretty much everything um, I'm a true Amazon fan and uh, I had made this cut out here with the little boy's name on it I wound up editing it from my computer and then I just went and printed it out at my local staples and I did my tape on the back of it method so it doesn't bleed through and I made this from my computer also I just cut it out and I took a piece of cardboard a uh, piece of cardboard and I wound up um, cutting out the shape of the number and wound up taping it also to um to the cardboard and then i just hot glued a stick to the back of it so i could stick it inside the cake my cake board here is a square i believe 12 inch cake board um and i took some fondant and rolled it out on it and i took a impression like a rock impression um cutter and or stamp and stamped it onto um, the cake board so it could look like some type of grass or whatever just to give it some um, personalization uh, and I'm taking my little action figures here that I got from Amazon it came with the whole the whole bundle group um, Ryder uh, the only one I know was Ryder and Chase and that's really pretty much it Sky and I know Sky too so all of the other characters, they all came. I'm taking my um, fondant letters that says happy birthday. Um, and I'm just placing them onto the cake board. And how I stuck my action figures on to the cake is um, some hot glue. So I just took the hot glue and I took like two little dabs of the hot glue. And I stuck them onto the, uh, the action figures feet. And I just went ahead placing it on top of the cake board at the bottom. Now the action figures that's on the top, I had wound up just placing them into um, the cake.
So I got these little construction um, vehicles from my local cake supply place. I just happened to see them and I was just like, oh, this goes with my theme. So I am going to place these onto my cake also. Now, before I hot glued anything, I wound up placing all of my toys um, in the places that I want them. Um, just in case I didn't like something there, I could have always moved it before it was too late. So here I'm trying to figure out where I want, um, I don't know if that's Chase. I forgot. I don't know who these characters are. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place him before I start to tack down all of my pieces. And here I am taking a fondant mold and I'm going to be placing some white fondant inside of it. Um, these are like the dog bones and the dog paws. And I'm just going to be taking it and um, inserting it into my mold and then I'll just pop them out and I'll place them on the cake board also. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where I want it to be. Uh, I felt like it was enough stuff in the front of the cake. So I was just like, okay, well, I'm going to just put it to the back. I just uh, used some water to apply it. And I figured out where I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to do this um, one or two more times. Um, and now I am doing the dog bone and I'm just um, using the fondant to place inside the mold so that I can get the dog bone out so I can place the dog bones in a few places of um, the cake. So at this moment, I'm just trying to fill in any empty spaces. Um, so I'm just taking the dog bones and just placing them in open spaces just to fill up the cake a little bit more. And um, this is pretty much it. This is what the cake looks like once I got finished tacking down everything um, and placing everything onto the cake. Uh, most of the artwork is in front of the cake just because you don't usually see the back of the cake when it's sitting on the cake table or the cake stand. Um, so I try not to really put too much stuff back there um, just because you're not really going to see it due to the toppers and everything.